Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we're finally going to learn the reason why we introduced logs into our lives with exponents. And it's all going to be revolved around solving exponential equations. So what you're going to need is your notes or foldable, a calculator and a pen or pencil. And you'll definitely want a calculator for today because there's going to be some calculations that you literally cannot do in your head. So when it comes to solving exponential equations, there's two different ways or types of solving that we can do. And the first way, or this first bullet point, is when we have exponents on both sides. We've already learned this method. This method is finding common bases and then setting those exponents equal to each other. But we can only use the method of common bases when we have exponents on both sides, okay? So we can rewrite 32 as 2 to the 5th, all times that x plus 1, and that's going to be equal to 2 to, 2 to the x. So all you're really solving is x equal to 5x minus 5, so subtract 5x from both sides, then you get negative 4x is equal to negative 5. So if you divide by negative 4, you're going to get an answer of x is equal to 5 fourths. Right? Okay, what if you only have an exponent on one side? This is what we're going to be talking about today in this foldable and in this lesson video. You're going to need logs to solve it. So for this example, we have 2 to the x is equal to 100. You have to convert this guy into logarithmic form or log form. So remember our big L? So we're going to do log base 2 of 100 is equal to x. Log base 2 of 100 is equal to x. And then, um, this is where your calculator comes into the video. You have to plug in log of 100 divided by log of 2, right? And so that is going to equal a gross decimal of 6.644, okay? So, this is how we're going to solve all of the equations today in our notes, is using logs or rewriting it in logarithmic form. Okay, so we just have four examples going through this process. So for each one of these problems, you're going to solve for x, and how you're going to do that is isolate the base and then change it into logarithmic form. So for every single one of these four problems today, that's what you're going to do. So first we have to isolate that 2 to the x. So I have to add 1 to both sides. I get 2 to the x is equal to 6 plus 1 is 7. So change it. Remember, you can also think about it as the L. So log base 2 of 7 is equal to x. So then you're going to punch in your calculator log 7 divided by log 2. And that's going to get you a decimal of 2.807. So that's your answer. So if we think back to our set of directions, our first step is to isolate the thing with the power. So that means that I have to subtract 5 to get 10 to the x alone on the left-hand side. Then 60 minus 5 is 55. And then we have to use our big L to convert it into logarithmic form. So that's going to be log base 10 of 55 is equal to x. And last video that we talked about, your calculator is already in log base 10, so there's two ways you can do it. You can plug log 55 divided by log 10 into your calculator, or because your calculator is already in base 10, you can just punch in log 55. And that's going to spit back an answer of about 1.740. So that's what x is equal to, 1.740. Okay? All right, example number three. So our goal is to isolate this, and then our second step is to rewrite it in logarithmic form. So that means I have two steps before I get to that logarithmic form. I have to minus one, so I get four times three to the two x is equal to four. And then I can divide by four on both sides. That'll cancel the one. So now we have 3 to the 2x is equal to 1, and now I can change it into log form. So log base 3 of 1 is equal to 2x. 
Okay, so in your calculator, you're going to plug in log 1 divided by log 3, and that's going to equal 2x. Okay, so that decimal that you get, or actually it's not even a decimal, sorry, when you plug it into your calculator, it spits back 0. But that's still equal to 2x, so you have to divide by 2, and 0 divided by 2 is still 0. So your final answer for x is 0. All right, last problem for today. Let's subtract 1 in order to get that 3 to the x minus 2 isolated by itself on the left-hand side. 85 minus 1 is 84. And so now that we have this exponent, this number getting raised to an exponent isolated, change it to logarithmic form. So that's going to be log base 3 of 84 is equal to x minus 2. You're going to have to do your change of base formula or the log of 84 divided by log of 3, and that's going to be equal to x plus 2. So log of 84 divided by log of 3 is a decimal of like 4.03310, whatever. That's still equal to x minus 2. So in order to equal x, we have to add 2 to both sides. So this is going to become 6.03310, and that's your final answer for x. And that is all that I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to thank you for taking good notes, and I shall see you soon.